As everyone knows by now, the Acolyte got cancelled, and in a shocking turn of events, the crybaby fans and shills are whining, having meltdowns, and blaming everyone except the people who made that pile of garbage. Even though the Acolyte had god-awful viewership numbers, meaning nobody wanted to watch it, these sore losers decided to put all the blame on a couple of YouTubers for bullying this poor $180 million show made by a multi-billion dollar company. <laughs> you serious? A bunch of these so-called fans took to Twitter to blast out some manifesto detailing their demands. This nonsense reads like some group of nutcases holding a bunch of mannequins hostage and demanding the cops give them money. In other words, they think they have power, when in reality they have absolutely no leverage whatsoever. Most of them keep telling YouTube to step in and enforce their terms of service, and in a hilarious twist YouTube did just that. They responded to one of these losers and said that none of the accounts, which included Geeks and Gamers, Nerd Roddick, and Ryan Kinnell, or violating any policies. It turns out that if someone on YouTube is saying a show you like sucks, that's actually not racism, sexism, or any kind of bigotry, and it definitely doesn't have to do with your safety. All it means is that you're a crybaby who can't come up with an argument against their criticism. That is so deeply pathetic. Then this dork responds by crying more about YouTube not caring about safety, because apparently people who are smarter than this idiot, expressing opinions based on facts and statistics, somehow makes them unsafe. Then they try to make it about money and just demonetizing the channels, but in reality we all know that nobody works for free. It's not a bad thing to want to earn a living, and they want to create a situation where once the YouTubers complained about not making money, they're somehow villains for wanting money for their work. So the argument they think makes sense is, yeah, you can keep the videos up, which by the way is an absolute lie. They want these videos taken down and they've admitted to mass reporting them already, so we're not off to a great start. But please make sure these people can't earn a living and take care of their families. Honestly, it's not surprising given that's a textbook liberal strategy. If you dare to disagree with them, you get labeled dangerous and they try to make sure you end up homeless. What do you mean you don't agree with me? Do you know who you're dealing with? Like Nerd Roddick pointed out on Friday Night Tights, if they think people should make content for free to see who the real fans are, then they're welcome to demonetize their videos too. If money and perks don't matter to real fans, they would pass up all the free Lucasfilm merch and press event tickets, but they don't. The situation is very simple. The facts don't back up any of their claims, so they can't make a logical argument against these YouTubers. Therefore, they want them silenced so they don't have to try and argue against all the facts and common sense, which again rests solely on the side of these YouTubers. What companies need to understand is these people don't care about your show, movie, or game. They only care about their political motives and how it can make them look good on Twitter. It never ceases to amaze me how few people will watch a show like The Acolyte or play games like Concord or Dustborn, but then you'll see 10 times as many people on Twitter crying about its failure. They don't care about the product because if they did, they'd buy the game or watch the show instead of just virtue signaling on Twitter. You're the worst kind of scum on the face of the earth. The only terms of service violation is what they're doing, since organizing a campaign like this to get other channels demonetized is a TOS violation. So basically they're violating the same rules they want YouTube to enforce against YouTubers who actually haven't violated the terms of service. These geniuses snitched on themselves and proved that they don't actually understand YouTube's rules, they just think that anyone who disagrees with them deserves to be punished. And of course, when people called them on their BS, they backpedaled and claimed to be victims. They started it and now they're mad it didn't go the way they wanted it to, so they're trying to avoid getting in trouble. Take this chick for example. As Nerd Roddick pointed out, she didn't quote tweet someone else, she posted all of this herself and at almost the same time as everyone else did, but still tries to act like she didn't know what she was doing, making herself seem like some innocent bystander. That Star Wars girl called out this chick's BS and pretty much summed up the situation perfectly. Nobody wants to take credit now that there might be some consequences, which just proves how limp-wristed these idiots are. If you say something, you'd better mean it and stand by it. But in classic liberal snowflake fashion, when the going gets tough, the crybabies run and hide. 
take a hike, bro. Put a vest with a bunch of pockets on, get a stick, whittle it down, make it three feet, get to stepping. Critical drinker who hilariously didn't make their manifesto pointed out on Friday Night Tights that these weirdos poured everything they had into things like the Acolyte or Concord and the entire world came together to massively reject it. So it makes sense that this tiny but loud minority would cry as much as they have been because essentially the world mocked and crapped all over the political garbage and weird messaging that they base their entire lives around. Just look at the ratios and stats on these tweets and you'll see who has more people supporting them. The only reason this got any attention at all is because those YouTubers actually responded and people wrote articles making fun of these dorks. Hey asshole! You guys suck! Idiots like this have basically become the boy who cried wolf. They overused all the istin phobe words, then abused all the so-called power they had to bully the world into getting their way through accusations, canceling, and intimidating people into silence. They got desperate and pushed too far by claiming they somehow felt unsafe from people who were just criticizing modern entertainment and the world realized they're just a bunch of crybabies who don't have the ability to counter any of this criticism because they know damn well the facts don't support their BS. They genuinely think by silencing these YouTubers, somehow people are gonna love garbage like the Acolyte. These guys didn't force people to stop watching Star Wars content. That's all on Disney and Lucasfilm turning the franchise into a joke. When you try to demonetize and deplatform them, all you're doing is admitting you don't have a valid response to their criticism. Crying and whining like a bunch of insecure losers justifies everything they say and makes people want to watch their content even more, which is something I would definitely recommend doing because they're great at what they do. The Acolyte didn't fail because of YouTubers, it failed because it was a terrible show that had more Twitter fans than viewers.